Alright everyone, welcome to the Hitman 2 video. This is going to be an escalation going for Silent Assassin, the Quimby Quandary. This is the playing around part of the video where we figure out what to do, although I've already played through this, so it's more of a recap. So Silver Bowler, Lethal Syringe, Coins, that's all we need. And off we go. Now, I did originally record a blind, you know, playing around video, but it didn't turn out great because that was the day we the Escalation came out. I played the McAllister Ransack. And after that I thought... This is not very interesting. You literally just collect items and... Uh, I wanted to do... Yeah, we get the briefcase, knock him out. I wanted to try and record something else instead then. But by the time I played this I was kind of like tired. So it didn't turn out great. I thought, eh, whatever. Post the McAllister Ransack. And, uh, yeah. Let's just do this. Let's just recap. The one bad thing about this is... I... completed the final objective in the second level. So we'll place a coin and pick it up. The game came out with... Well, oh, you can't use your... Briefcase, so you can't carry it downstairs and stuff. And I was like, I, I've already been doing that since the first level. So <laughs> the final level was literally just do it again. I really hate when that happens. So uh, I was just, yeah, I lost all motivation. <laughs> it's really annoying when you complete objectives that appear in later levels. So, Alright, I think we will go down here. I don't think there's a better way to get to that stash. Maybe there is. This seems a bit lengthy. Uh, wait a minute, where am I? <laughs> I'm kind of lost now. Where am I? We'll just keep going down here. And, uh... Wait a minute, I am lost now. I've, I've... Yeah. Hang on, wait. Uh, this way. You just go down there and then through this door. There's your briefcase. Pick it back up and head to the exit. So yeah, I mean that happened a lot in season one. Do it again. There were literally escalations where you if depending on how you completed the first few levels or the first level even every other level was literally the same thing i think there was one there's one sapienza one i think it, it had to do with a morgue and an explosive yeah i think you had explosives you had to kill the morgue guy with an explosive and i just used a breaching charger and uh yeah, it was the same tactic, like, for five levels. <laughs> it's really terrible. Um, yeah, new target. That guy, And when I was playing this, I thought, the kills here, again, aren't very interesting. There's a guy standing right underneath the chandelier, and there's a guy there completely isolated. So it's, it's not exactly the most challenging thing there is. Yeah, it's a lot of whining and stuff, but that's why I probably, you know, didn't post the original video. I was just like, half asleep. <laughs> but whatever, we'll just run over here, chuck it over there. Head down there. Can we kill this guy a little quicker? Can I kill him from up here as he's leaning over there? I think that would be quicker, right? Because then he's not in view of that lady there. While he's taking his drink, we can just... When he's standing here, can we get a shot? Pretty sure we can, we can just go... Psh, dead. Although, will she? Nah, she wouldn't see him, right? We'll just place a coin here and go, hey, you! Look, coin. We don't even need to use a syringe, but... Oh, yeah, she saw me. There you. Alright, let's try and just shoot the guy. Probably don't need a, need a syringe then. So instead we could bring... I don't know. Something? 
We could bring a, a melee weapon with us then. We could just leg shot this guy from around the corner, maybe. And then knock him out so we don't have to wait around. Look how desperately... Uh, desperately he's trying to look at me. You can see the way the AI locks onto you for a few seconds once you come in range. Especially when, when you're behind them, then their head kind of swivels left, right, left, right, left, right, trying to look at you. So their head snaps at 90 degree, uh, degree angles. Oh. That will do. Was that? Yeah, she noticed. <laughs> Maybe we need to do, uh, do that a bit more gracefully. And maybe we'll just take a shot and that locks him in place there. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's just load in with a meta weapon. Yeah, the crystal, crystal ball. Why not? Hardly use it anymore. Ever since they got rid of the quick throwing kind of bug or whatever in it, one, two. Can we use? Uh, can you not? Look, there's a coin here. What's he doing? Oh wait, maybe we just throw a coin. Keep him locked in. Oh wait, oh, I forgot to throw my briefcase. Whatever, we're just checking this out. That woman always kind of like shadowing this guy. It's kind of annoying. Oh shoot! Yeah. Someone, please help me. They noticed. What seems to be the problem? I just heard what sounded like someone getting a proper beating. Well, if you throw a coin there, well, I'm fine. What? I want to try and kill the guy without. I mean to wait around long for him to move around and stuff. Let's go. This is fun, I guess. Uh. <laughs> what, what are they doing? It's like they just stand there and like act a little confused for a while. Not over there. What if I throw a coin anywhere out of reach? Is he gonna react to that? Yeah, he does. Uh, it doesn't delay him much. Hmm. The poisoning. We just throw a coin there and then. I don't have any coins left for this guy. So yeah, of course we don't uh, we don't throw that one experimental coin. There's no point in it. This guy is now not under the chandelier properly. So yeah. Well, all that just to get a quicker movement from your starting location is not really worth it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what this video is there for, just experimentation. Instead of just doing it all in one go. Right. He did not see me there, really? Uh, yeah, he did. Whatever. It's an assassin, we'll pretend it is. Do these guys actually move out here? Or are they just, like, mildly confused? They're just mildly confused for a little while. Let's shoot that wall there. Gonna see this? Oh, 
No one's gonna see it or hear it. And we actually delay the constant a lot with that first initial knockout. Uh, hey you. Hmm, yeah. Through here. Can I not go. Nah. No point. Let's go down says. Yeah, this way is better instead of that way over there, because there's a patrol over there that has an enforcer, so we might as well just get all the way down the stairs, run through here, grab the briefcase, and head to the exit. We'll get Silent Assassin for this final run, which is literally just do what we just did. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> Three stars. Okay, so yeah, let's do it again. And we skip. We go over here, we go like this, we go, oops. <laughs> this is, the shop setup takes a little time, I guess, if you don't move just right. <laughs> I just, love, I just love knocking him out like that. It's just fun. It's completely unnecessary, really, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he gonna get... Is he gonna get alerted? Like, all panicked? Nah. That shot wasn't too close. I guess we don't need to do that. Nothing here. Ah, uh, the door didn't close. The door's like wide open. Why is it not closing itself? We're gonna do that again. You need to manually close the door, otherwise it just stays open too long. <laughs> what? No, I want to do that. I'm probably not going to include that in my guide. I just want to do it just to make myself, I don't know, more entertained. <laughs> it's fun to do. Close, damn it. Nope. Place it, damn it. I'll just sacrifice a coin. Won't pick it back up. Wait, 
equip your weapon, damn it. Everything's so slow. watch the intro but then you probably need to distract the constant on the staircase but it's not a big deal so he doesn't walk under the chandelier with the target if you're not too quick on, on doing all the things but yeah yeah whatever I'll do I don't know I mean the at first it seems like it'd be really interesting, but it's, in the end it's really straightforward. The kills... It's just one guy's isolated, completely drinking a drink. We'd literally just poison his drink. Or... Yeah, and the other guy is right under the chandelier, so it's like... It's so simple. Eh, whatever. That'll do. <laughs> Enough whining. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.